and the guy wasn't there. So I text him and he tells me, I'm on my way to Texas. I'll be back on the 15th. I'm like, no, I need it for the 14th. I'm about to cry. Tell me what to do. So I just told him to give me. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my vlog. This is Nia with Exquisite Floral Design and Events. And if you're new to my channel, welcome and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, you need to hit that bell so you can be notified every time I drop a video. And I normally drop videos um, Wednesday and those are designed with me. And Saturdays, if I don't have an event or if I am able to edit it on Friday, Saturdays are um, florist vlogs. And they're probably going to start getting really interesting because um, weddings are um, picking back up. And so you don't want to miss out on that. And then I'm probably going to also start a series where I um, purchase different things from like AliExpress, Amazon, different things like that. Still still working the kinks out. And if you are a returning ex subscriber, welcome back. Sorry, you guys, you're not seeing my face. I look horrible. I've been so stressed over this wedding. Um, she had books a few years ago. And, you know, her wedding had to get postponed. And so I'm just like, I don't know why I'm stressed about it. So anyway, I have one today and one tomorrow. And my assistants, they finished all these last night and some other stuff. I'm doing the bouquets. But I said, let me jump on here because hopefully I'll be able to talk and show and, um, set up as we um, set the ceremony up. But hey, I am not very sure how it's going to go because yeah, yeah. Anyway, if I check in back with you when I get in my car to go deliver this stuff to my assistants and the church, I'll check back in with you guys later. Bye. Hey, flowers. So I'm off to my first wedding of the week. Um, it's, a, it's quite large. It's 150 people. And the funny thing about it is indoors, which...
ways. I might as well just buy it. My husband had calculated and we were like, that's like $60, I mean $600 one way. You might as well take that six, I mean $600 one way. You might as well take that $600 and the $3,000 mortgage you already paid and put it on and just buy a house out there in Orange County. So it's like, oh my God, it's just ridiculous. So I got off a topic. Anyway, so I'm going to head to Michael's because I was going to go in Walmart, but I have a feeling Walmart's not going to have it. I can't remember seeing him at this Walmart close to where I'm going to. You know what? We just going to chance it. I'm just going to go to this Walmart because they $5 in there. I don't feel like spending a whole bunch of money on it. I'm just going there and get them. And then um, I'm going to head to the church. I'm going to have to be there to one. I'm like an hour and a half early. To the church just wait there for a second i have to be places early guys because my way my anxiety work uh-uh i'll be so crazed or crazy anyway sorry how my phone look it is so dirty i look so foggy because all the handprints from the screen and i am off i hope i remember to record for you guys so you can see how crazy a day is and i'm gonna show you guys all the flowers that are packed in my van right now going to work because I'm going to put some flowers on both sides. You yeah, are good. Mm -hmm. There go all the flowers. I'm waiting here at the church because there's still a wedding going on. But there go all my beautiful flowers. We are ready. Ready, ready. So so as you can see i've already set up the reception my girls are still or not my girls, I shouldn't say that, my ladies or my lovely flowers who work for me. They are um, filling in, adding some more flowers because I, like I said, you guys, I bought a lot, a lot of flowers. And so I'm back over at the church. They are still, um, the ceremony is still going on as soon as it's over. I'm going to run in there, grab the, um, I'm going to grab the, 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 what was it the abstract um altar arrangements and the things on the altars you know what i need to go to the bathroom and then i'm when i'm going home when i'm going back i'm gonna buy me a subway sandwich there's one like on the corner i'm gonna run in there real quick and grab i was gonna buy robert some food for dinner so i think i'll buy just a half of a sandwich and a drink
really small. Um, so I just need to make one more thing. I need to make the, the spray that goes on her table. But that's really easy. It'll take me like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I'm going to videotape it and do it as a design with me. But anyway, um, I'm off to go. I'm washing my clothes. I usually wash clothes on Wednesday. But I'm washing my clothes today. And there is no laundry detergent. And it's so funny because I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, how have they washed clothes? Because the last time I washed was last Wednesday. And I do remember telling myself I needed laundry detergent. Because I usually buy like a lot at one time. And I never did. So I'm like, they must still wash no clothes last week. So I'm off to my favorite spot. Um, I used to be a big, 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 big couponer, you guys. Oh my gosh. It used to be fun. Um, because it was like the thrill of getting stuff for like nothing. Um, well, I never got to the point where I got it for nothing, but like getting it for a couple of, for, for change rather than for like six or seven dollars, which it was. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to Walgreens. <clears throat> they are like the best when it comes to. <clears throat> coupons because you know you can use the coupons you can use the, the coupon that's <clears throat> in their books and then you can also like you get points and oh it's fun so anyway that's where I'm at right now and then later on today I will have you guys go with me as I deliver my flowers and set up at the Mission Inn talk to you guys later
I already had one consultation for a 35th birthday and I'm about to hit up my friend and have her send me pictures of the uh, casino party that she did. And then um, after that, I have a meeting with my administrative assistant and then I have one more meeting this afternoon. Um, I already ordered my flowers for my Sunday birthday party, a little girl's birthday party. It's going to be so gorgeous. I'm excited about that. I did my payroll and now I just need to sit down and find the rest of my vendors for my style shoot on April the 7th. I don't know why I don't, I'm like procrastinating doing this. And the bad thing about it is most of the people that I've reached out to, they were like, yeah, we want to participate. They're so excited about it. So I need to get on that. So that's... So I was looking in this like International Women's Day or something like that. So happy. If you're women, happy International Women's Day to you. By the time you see this, it'll be Friday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday probably. <laughs> so <laughs> anyways, um, I'm feeling really good today. Um, I just had to get past that one wedding. I do not know why it was testing my abilities, but you know, you sometimes you feel like that, You, you but um I'm over it. I'm like I said, I'm really excited for this Saturdays. Um, I'm a little bit scared because it's a lot, but I know I can do it. I'm I'm awesome when it comes to design. So I'm not worried about that. And um what tomorrow I don't have much to do. Wednesday I'm gonna pick up all my stuff. And I just received an order for an artificial flower arrangement. And I'm gonna run into downtown to grab So anyway, I just made it to my mom's house. I was checking in with you guys. Hello, my lovely flowers. It is a rainy Wednesday. Oh, I hate that I picked today to go to LA. <gasps> I'm not happy about it. Anyway, it is a rainy Wednesday and I am on my way to LA. It's like, oh shoot, I forgot. I keep forgetting there's got to be like a hole or something in the top of my air conditioner in my van because like the water drips out of when it rains the water drips out of it onto inside the van so I got to figure it I was supposed to when I took it to go get it fixed I was supposed to have it look at that I can't for, I, it's like 50 million things I forget to do but anyway I'm on my way to LA I got so much to do you guys okay so like I was saying I have so much to do I just stopped in Google box um, oh, underneath the water it's coming out of my speaker anyway but I think it's a hole in my air conditioner going out of my speaker but long story short I have so much to do today I like try to schedule all my appointments and stuff on Wednesday and do all my stuff on Wednesday but this is not a good day anymore um, because I'm getting so busy um, I keep forgetting to block off my schedule. So I have a nine o'clock meeting with um, my accountability partner that I'm gonna email her and see if we can do it at 8.30. Then I have another nine o'clock appointment with a potential client. It was a referral. 
But if you don't, oh well. Just know I'm on my way to my favorite spot, LA. Oh, and then I needed to, before I do all this, I need to go to downtown LA because I want to buy some cheap $5 flowers to uh, go on the arch so that it looks really, really full. Even though I got about, oh, clearly about a thousand carnations and over 700 roses. Is it 700? One, one, two, three, 350 roses. I want another 200 at the five dollar range just to hide, you know, go on the back. You won't really see them, but I just need. I know you guys have a gorgeous uh, virtual tour. I love it. But I also want her to see everything. So, this is my card. Thank you very much. Um, and Jay and Elise. And if you have any questions, let us know. Okay, sounds good. Let's All right. do it. Let's do it. How was the fashion district? Um, so, I went into the flower district and oh, I have like flowers. Flower flower is there a gigantic, you know, I have a gigantic van. Oh, so, it's like, um, it's torture, but I, I make it through it, and I get what I need to get, and then I I get from down there. <laughs> and because. we're also going to show you the penthouse too, because they're interested in that. As well. Yeah, for the uh, for the guests, or I mean, for them or the guests. For them, or... um, exactly. Okay, okay. Because um, we gave them a discounted rate, I believe it's three ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, like yeah. Oh, for real? It's and bigger than my first apartment in LA. Yeah. And and you guys are doing it for three ninety nine. We have, well, with because of the package. package. Okay. Exactly. okay. And, and it's honestly, um, like we don't even have it online people. So we, we book it for private events. Okay. Um, and we do a ton of filming up there as well. Okay. Um, okay. And please be careful because there is a uh, water that's wet. Yes, let's see. Okay. I just want to make sure. Okay. Um, yeah. I think I should be able to get 50 people in a table. Now, all of, all this it will be removed. Everything so is removed. What we do is, and if you want to carefully see it here, we remove this and because we need that limited space uh -huh. for storage, we typically put it all back here and cover it with a hedge. Okay. Okay. So one good. of those hedges or one of these hedges will block it so you can't see it. And so I have all, I have from there to here. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Especially if they have the penthouse. Uh, what we'll do is we'll remove all that stuff as well. Okay, excellent. So I definitely, and I think what I'll end up doing is I'll end up putting this as a center, a table going this way, table going that way, and then they're, they're like main right here. And then I'll do the ceremony right there and the guests can still set up. Because I think she said you need a two hour to turn over. So I think what we're going to do is just have the guests sit at the table. Oh. Okay, perfect. Do the ceremony right here in front and then leave the backdrop and just put in a sweetheart table and, and go and do it that way. Oh, so we I don't have that. to okay. even do I Yeah, so we don't have to easy on us. I yes, I'm that. trying to I try to make everything easy for everyone because I just Yeah, it's beautiful. She's gonna love it. You know what? This would have been perfect. I, I'm doing a style shoot. Oh and really? we were looking for a we were looking for an overview of the city. And so we tried um, the athletic club. Oh, okay. yeah, right down the street. But they never got back to me. So, 
No! Thank you. Okay, excellent. Okay, and so I just want to make sure so that I have all of my all of the people in here who can help with with getting her ready. I think what I'll end up doing is her in here, the rest of the girls and stuff. Oh yeah, in here, and then um. Oh, there's a bathroom. She has her own bathroom in there. Oh, there's a bathroom right here. Awesome. So they don't even have to bother with her. Oh, and it's a gigantic. This is awesome. Very good. And this is our right Okay, excellent. This is good. Okay. Now, if um, where do you guys normally the gym? After the ceremony, Okay. Okay, so just the, okay, so it's in here. Awesome, this is nice. So they will come in here, we'll do like, um, to put the dance floor down, just an hour, an hour, and then, okay, great. Mm -hmm. And then when you were telling me how you guys put so many people up there, now how many tables do you just do like long, long tables? So you guys, my day was going amazing. I went downtown, I got my flowers, you guys saw that. Um, I had two, I had a meeting with one of my um, accountability partners and I love her so much. When I first met her, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna click with her, but I, I love her. And she was just telling me what's going on with her situation. I'm like, you know, I had to cheer her up. And I didn't mind because I know she's an awesome person and I think somewhere between her and another um, person in our group, the communication kind of broke down. So I cheered her up. Then I had a meeting with another young lady. It was referral. Her daughter's um, having a quinceanera. And, um, you know, I got all that information. Then I went in. I found tons of flowers that I needed for, um, for Sunday at a good price. I got back in my car. I had another meeting with the, the dress designer. She's on board. I'm so excited. Then, then um, I had a meeting with my designer that I love, love, love using. Um, you know, because she's doing a style shoot and I'm doing a style shoot. Or we're doing a style shoot. So we got that together. Then I went and did a walkthrough at this lovely location that you guys are gonna see that you've already seen um, for my November 30th bride she's moving her um, event from Palm Desert to LA and I came over here to get the prop that I needed or the custom-made arch and the guy wasn't there so I text him and he tells me I'm on my way to Texas I'll be back on the 15th I'm like no I need it for the 14th I'm about to cry. Tell me what to do. So I just told him to give him back my money. I was going to figure out something else to do. But then he texted me and said, it's done. He's on his way. So I'm waiting here. I've been waiting for like two and a half hours. I text him. I'm like, are you back? He's like, I'm back. I'm making it right now. I'm like, I wanted to say you're making it right now. I told you I was picking it up on the 10th. My event was the 14th. I'm like, so... Uh, but you guys know it's this is the life of a floral designer things the move the parts and you know what i had a feeling in my heart because of his communication when we were coming together to make this he's like i don't do emails he was only communicating through the dm um i sent him the money he just was hard it wasn't a good communication so i had like this feeling in my heart that something wasn't wasn't right with him or it wasn't gonna go right with him. And I needed him to make something else for me, but I can't, I just can't. I have to find me somebody else who can make this prop, this next one for my style shoot, because this, I was supposed to be home. I got three proposals sitting out there um, that I need to get out. I need to give an update to my bride. And then I need to give 
an update to my bride, you know, on all the moving parts of what we need now need to do and change everything. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm sitting in this car. And I'm like, I wish I would have brought my laptop with me. I mean, yeah, what is it called now? laptop i don't even know what the hell is called my back book with me so that i could had at least did some work i did send some emails through my phone but oh my gosh oh i just want this and be done with it yeah i need i usually try to rest wednesday afternoons but i just i can't i can't even go home and rest well, anyway, it's beautiful out. It was raining. It's off and on. Luckily, once I got downtown, it wasn't raining anymore. And I got what I needed. And that's it. So, I thank you guys for listening to me rant. a nerd yes so i finally got home you guys i took a shower i ate and now i'm watching excuse me my favorite show until i fall asleep i am such a star tracky i love star trek i love anything star trek it's so funny now i don't really care for what's the star trek like the one that was Probably in the 2000, 2000s, I don't even know. I look at the name, but oh my gosh. Yes, I'm so funny. That's supposed to be a Klingon. Oh my gosh, that's not how the Klingon's supposed to look. But anyway, yeah, so I'm watching the original Star Trek. And then after this, um, what comes on next? Star Trek. Oh my gosh, it's just, I'm so funny with everything in my Star trek and Anyway, yeah, I had to let people know that I love Star Trek. You guys want to give me anything? Give me something dealing with Star Trek. No, that's a lie. If you want to give me anything, give me something designer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. I had, I had this. And I usually don't drink at all, but I drank all of it. And I only have 5% alcohol. But I hadn't eaten nothing all today. And sorry I'm not talking to you guys. I'm like ready for bed. I look crazy. I can't show anybody how crazy I look. But yeah, it was a crazy day today. And I am sleepy. And I need to just take myself to sleep. So watch Star Trek with me. See you guys tomorrow. Hello, lovely flowers. It's Thursday. So... You know, today all I've been doing is catching up on work. I need to finish a couple of proposals. I just don't have the energy to do it. For some reason, I just don't want to do anything today. And then I need to um, write some content information for my service page on my website, which I don't feel like doing either. And what else do I need to do? Um, I had a meeting with a gentleman on how to do um, drop ship sales, but he wants $1,700 to join his group and I'm trying to figure out, you know, should I try it? Should I not? I'm going to think about it. I'm going to talk with my husband and see if it's a good idea because I need, you know, you guys, I have, um, a, a online business, but I wanted to try something else for another means of income. And so I was looking into that and I think that's it. I'm excited about this weekend. It is going to be so pretty. I'm really, really excited. Um, but other than that, it's just been a day. So I want to tell you guys, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget again to like and subscribe. Come join my lovely flowers. Learn something new. Experience what I go through through a week as a floral designer. Like I said, it's getting busy. It's going to be a fun roller coaster. And in a couple of weeks, it's 
my birthday and that's it so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye Hee <laughs> hee.